Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and if you're a dancer or a fan of Dancing with the Stars, you'll want to be there. Yeah, because the guy hosting the event is a, a very familiar face, longtime Dancing with the Stars pro Tony Dovolani. He's joining us this morning, so good morning, Tony. Thank you for being here. Uh, so you're good morning, hosting, guys. You're hosting this event in Collegeville tonight, and all the benefits uh, go to the Linda Creed Breast Cancer Organization. So give us a little background of why this cause is so personal to you. Well, I mean, first of all, the organization is a wonderful organization. They do a lot for breast cancer awareness. Uh, but this event is very close and near and dear to my heart because my sister is a breast cancer survivor. She went through 28 weeks of very heavy chemotherapy. And what a lot of people don't realize is that it's not just the person that gets the cancer. It's the entire family gets that right. gets affected. You know, my brother, my, my brothers and I, and we, we really spent a lot of time with her while she was going through the chemo. And now we are a big part of her staying healthy and keeping her dancing and keeping her moving and really keeping been a positive uh, look in life in every which way and um, it's, it's been a successful route so far and I know that this organization is trying to make uh, a lot of these stories come to successful side of it uh, by bringing awareness and really helping and supporting all those wonderful people that are going through this terrible disease. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's so awesome that you all are sticking together, though. So the yeah. people who are going <laughs> to watch this event, tell me how they can take part of it and what can they expect? Well, I mean, first of all, they, you know, taking dance lessons will keep you healthy regardless. I mean, we, we are definitely going through a pandemic, but at the Fred Astaire Dance Studio, we take every precaution from masks to shields to everything that we have to do by disinfecting and so on to make sure that everybody stays healthy. But the most important thing is getting yourself moving. Dancing has got so many wonderful things as far as keeping you healthy, giving you exercise, uh, you know, li listening to the music, being able to move to the music as fun and, as it is. So why not try and, and have some fun with it? And at the Predator Studio, we decided that every class that everybody takes today, a portion of the proceeds will be going to the foundation and uh, trying to bring that awareness to the Breast Cancer Month. All right, and you've, uh, you've been keeping busy, obviously, after you left Dancing with the Stars, the program. Tell us a bit about the foundation that you formed as well. Uh, I actually stayed very busy with that. I, I have a son that's autistic, so I brought, uh, you know, my wife told me one day, she goes, I know that you're very passionate about this. Why don't we start a foundation? And I said, absolutely. So we started a foundation for my son, and then... We ended up doing a lot of things for special needs kids. And so far as a foundation, we've been able to raise a lot of money and we donate all 100% of it. It's called Tony Delaney Golf for Children with Special Needs. And it's been such a wonderful giving way to, to, to really do something that makes a difference for a lot of kids' lives. And I gotta tell you, Fred's Day Dance Studio in itself has really stepped up to the plate. They really have helped me a lot with this. Uh, in fact, uh, we even started creating a lot of free lessons online. So if you go to Fred Astaire, Dot com, you can actually learn to dance for free online, and as well as uh, going to our locations like Hollyville, which is a new studio that's opening up very near you, uh, November 6th. And that's another you know, wonderful thing is we try to open up locations in all the different areas and try to really take part in the community and try to make a difference. Well, I'm sure Demetra is going to tune in because she needs some help with her dancing. I'm oh, just ouch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let me see your best move. Let me see the best move. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we really do love how you're using your platform for a good cause. But I do have to ask you that now that since you left the show, Dancing with the yes. Stars, have you tuned in? What is your opinion? Yes, what do you think about it? I, I love I love uh, I love the changes they made. I mean, I totally miss Tom, and I love Tom Bergeron big time. But I think you know the show has changed the dancers. Maybe you needed to change a host, and I think Derek is doing a fantastic job. But it's not about the host and it's not about the judges. It's about the contestants taking that, that trip through the transformation into becoming dancers or rather, you know, it's self challenges that they put in front of them. So I, I'm really intrigued by the, all the different, uh, celebrities that are on there. You know, uh, my favorite already got voted off, uh, Vernon Davis. <laughs> I love the football players. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> but, but uh, overall, I think there's a lot of talent this year there. Um, the, the 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 girl that's dancing with Sasha Farber, I mean, she is just a ball of fire. Mm -hmm. uh, I love her. So I think it's going to be a great show all the way to the end. I'm really happy that they came back so strong. Dancing is definitely needed during our time that we're going through right now. We need some entertainment. We need some distraction from everything that's going on. So yeah. I'm really happy that Dancing with Stars is there.
Well, it's always interesting, Tony, and we love what you're doing with these charitable causes. It's do. fantastic. We have a graphic here with information about today's event. It's popping up right now, happening at the Fred Astaire Dance Studio. From 2 to 7, you got those private lessons, and then the competition recital following after that. So thank you, Tony, and best of luck moving forward with all that you do. Take care. My absolute pleasure. Thank you guys so much for having me. All right, we'll see you. Well, the world